So Face Punch has finally rolled out a body of work that veterans of Rust have been waiting for for a very long time. And that, of course, is the ability to skin different items in the game that we thought we were never going to be able to. So the first two passes for this project, of course, is the Adobe skin for stone buildings and the shipping container skin for sheet metal buildings. And of course, there's going to be more to come. We just have to be patient and wait for the other tiers, as well as hopefully the other items that we'll soon be able to skin. Hopefully one day we'll be able to skin tool cupboards and water catchers and vehicles and helis and stuff like that. But for now, we only have those two. However, the downside to that is they're, in my opinion, a little bit expensive. If we have a look at the Steam store, you can see that each one of these packages is just under $20 Canadian, which should be, what, about $14 or $15 American. But in my opinion, it's pretty expensive, especially when you consider that we're going to have to be buying these skins for all of these different things as they start rolling them out. Well, today I'm going to show you a plugin that allows the players on your server the ability to use these building skins without actually having purchased them. What's up everybody? Welcome back to Rust Admin Academy where I'm teaching you everything that you need to know about owning and operating a successful Rust server. On this channel I do plug interviews and tutorials plus I want to give you all of the tips and tools that are going to make your Rust server ownership so much easier. If you're brand new to my channel consider subscribing so that you stay up to date on everything that we're working on and to get the latest updates on the Rust development world. I'll remind you a couple of times throughout the video to hit that like button if you're enjoying what you're watching, so please remember to do so. All right, let's get on to today's video. Before we get into the really awesome details about this plugin, did you know that I have a website at srtbold.com? On my website, you can find out a little bit about me, how I got into this business, and why I do what I do. Of course, there are a bunch of links there that take you directly to my YouTube channel for probably what I consider to be the most important videos for you to watch. So if you're brand new to hosting a Rust server, make sure you check out srtbold.com. The more traffic I can actually get going to the website will translate directly into the amount of information information that's going to be available there for you. Of course, there's links directly to my YouTube channel, which you're already watching. There's a link to my Discord channel, which if you're not a member yet, you definitely want to click on this blue button right here and make sure you've joined that Discord. I also want to bring your attention to the fact that I do actually have a Patreon page. So if you want to support what I'm doing at Rust Admin Academy, you can access that directly from this page as well. There's a couple of different levels of support. Pick the one that fits right for you and just know that every dollar that's generated from Patreon and Discord goes directly back into the channel. You can, of course, also become a YouTube member, which has similar perks to my Patreon benefits. It's just another method of supporting the channel. So if you have the building skins purchased for your Steam account, then of course you know how this works. You place your foundation, you go up to it, and you click to upgrade like you normally would. And you can use Q and E to determine which skin you actually want to build this up to. Right now we only have two options for the stone level and two options for the sheet metal level, and that is obviously the basic stone level or the adobe skin. But for those of us that didn't actually want to buy the building skins, now we have a better option. And the best part of it is, it's free. So if we use the command slash B skin in chat, it's going to bring up this GUI, which is of course going to allow you what skins you actually want to build directly to. And just to reiterate, this works whether you've paid for the skins from Steam or not. So let's just take care of both of our options right now. So we want to upgrade stone to Adobe level and we want to upgrade metal directly to the shipping container level. So we're going to apply both of those. Now, I understand that this seems a little bit counterintuitive. So if you actually read what it says, pick the level that you want to upgrade to. So right now, we're set at the Adobe level and the shipping container level on both of these two available skins. If you want to go back to default, of course, you would click on apply again. And it, it you see what I mean? Like it, it seems counterintuitive. I think it should be reversed. And maybe by the time you all see this video, it will be. I'm not sure. But so for right now, let's just change it to the way that I know that it works at the time of the recording of this video. Once you have those options set, of course, you do the exact same thing. You build your foundation or your wall or whatever it is. And then you click to upgrade whatever level you want it to go to. And it goes directly to the Adobe. Adobe level. And because I also preset to shipping container, it will do the same thing for that level as well. And of course, if you want to turn those features off for whatever reason, you just pull up your B skin menu again, you click on both of those features again, and then you can update to the default skin instead. So that's all well and good. And I'm happy. I'm satisfied with how the plugin actually works just like that. The base feature of the plugin allows people that didn't want to buy the building skin package directly from the Steam store, the ability to actually build using those skins. However, there are some extra features that are a bit of a bonus. So I know that a lot of modded servers out there use plugins such as B grade or building grades. Both work really well. So let's pull up our B skin menu and let's change this back to the way that we know that it works. And let's select B grade two. Now when we place these walls or whatever it is that we want to be placing, it goes directly to the skinned item because we're utilizing the building skins plugin. And obviously this will also work going directly to the shipping container level as well. So we'll use slash B grade three. And as you can see there, it builds directly 
to the shipping container skin. The one downside to this capability is that you can't select a color and then use B grade in combination with building skins and have it go directly to that color. So what ends up happening if you're using these two features combined is you end up with a base that has a whole bunch of different colors all over the place. It's completely random. And then you would have to go back and spray can each individual panel to the color that you want it to be. I'm sure that's something that's gonna be addressed. I don't know that anybody has informed the developer that this needs to be an option for the shipping container level. We'll see how it goes. All right, so I was just about to tell you all about the different features of building grades, which is not to be confused with B grade. Basically what building grades does is it allows you to use one command that's automatically gonna upgrade the entire base as opposed to B grade, which does it panel by panel, foundation by foundation. And I had some cool tips and tricks that I wanted to show you, but now I'm noticing that those two plugins are not working together at all where they were when I was testing this last night. So let's pull up our B skin menu and make sure things are set correctly, which they are. So we're building to the Adobe level right here and we should be building to the shipping container level right here. But when I do down two, it goes to stone. And if I go up three, it goes directly to sheet metal when it should be going to the shipping container level. Let me just try something here real quick. Let's switch that back. Let's go down two, up three. Okay, so that they're definitely not working together and it could be something that I might need to update on my server that I'm using. And it is worth noting that I'm not using my test server. I'm actually using my live server where there's actually players on it right now. But if I do actually get this sorted out, what I was finding was if you were at the Adobe level and you did a slash up three, so taking it to sheet metal, which should be the shipping container level, it was actually converting the entire base to twig. And then I had to do that same command again. Once I did the command the second time, it did actually work and it upgraded the entire base all the way to the shipping container level. But now for some reason, it seems like I can't do that. But the reason I wanted to point that out is it's not a complication with building skins. It's a complication with B grade, which now has been addressed and building grades, which clearly needs to have some attention paid to it in order to make this actually work. But for the most part, that's pretty edge case type stuff. Not everyone uses building grades. Most people actually use B grade. Now that all being said about building grades, there is a feature built into building skins that will allow us to upgrade an entire base all in one shot using one command and convert the entire base directly to a specific skin. So right now we're at the stone level, obviously, and I just need to go up to a wall and providing that I do have the permission granted to me, I can do slash B skin space build and it will convert the entire base using the Adobe skin. And of course the same thing can be done with the sheet metal level. If our base is entirely built out of sheet metal, we do slash B skin space build, and it's gonna convert everything over to the shipping container level. Now I understand that I've kind of confused things a little bit. I've introduced B grade, I've introduced or tried to introduce building grades, plus the built-in functionality that actually comes with building skins. But the important part that I want you to recognize is that this will allow your players on your server access to these building skins without actually having purchased them directly from the Steam store. And I also know that up until this point, I haven't actually told you where to get this plugin from. So obviously, as you can see on my screen, it's available from codefling.com and the best part is is this plugin is completely free which obviously that's what attracted me to doing a video on this and i've never actually covered anything from this developer before so i was excited to get two birds stoned at once i get to bring you all a really great plugin that i know your players are going to love and i get to do it for free plus i get to introduce myself to this developer that i've never worked with in the past be sure to check the documentation there are some permissions that you're going to have to deal with before it functions exactly how you want it to on your server and then of course there's also some commands that i haven't covered on this video but they're fairly self-explanatory you're going to understand what they mean but definitely check them out so that you know what's available to your players. All right, you know as well as I do that this plugin is sick and the fact that it's free makes it even better. It's also really important that I make you understand that the plugin itself, I haven't found a single problem with it. It has functioned exactly the way that I would expect it to in every given situation. It's only when I started introducing things like B grade and building grades and all of these other things that I actually started running into problems. So if you're not using those plugins, you're not gonna have any issues. This plugin just works smoothly. Building Skins does also have a dependency for the GUI, so make sure you've installed Image Library. It is indicated on the documentation page. All right, that's it for the official business. Now, a couple of things that I wanna discuss with anybody that's still watching this video. First of all, have you liked this video yet? Are you subscribed to the channel? And have you turned on notification bells? Secondarily to that, I'm considering switching my release dates to Sundays instead of Fridays, but I need to know what you all want before I make such a drastic decision. According to my analytics, it says that that's when most of you are actually 
watch my videos is Sunday at 12 o'clock noon my time if that happens to matter to anybody but I didn't want to make the decision without actually talking to the community first but let me know in the comment section down below do you prefer that I release my videos on Fridays or would you rather I release them on Sundays I know it doesn't really matter when you actually get access to the video just as long as I put out a good quality video every week right I totally get it and if that's what your answer is if you don't care what day you watch the video then it doesn't matter to me either. All right, it seems to me that lately I've been covering an awful lot of code fling stuff. So I'm gonna lay off the code fling for a little while and next week I'm gonna be doing something from myvector.xyz. But until then, check out this video over here. And of course, if you haven't yet, subscribe down there. And of course, check out my Patreon down there if you wanna support the channel. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next week, maybe next Sunday.